broadcast. We will delve into this topic and to discover the way, the whys, what, how, and the whens of this great family secret. We have our guest who is going to throw light on this topic, Mrs. Annette Alagwe. Annette was an ex-police chief officer who worked in the rape and youth department, has also worked as a manager with Doctors Without Borders in South America. She is also a counselor, especially in marriage affairs, and currently is the manager of a training center for leadership, communications, and intercultural skills. Our second panelist is still on the way. Well, we will go on. I welcome you to Radio Voice of Niger, Mrs. Salagwe. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's always an honor having you. Yeah, Thank you for coming. Thank you. So, uh, we would like you to tell our listeners in a layman's view what is an incestuous relationship. Tell us. Yeah. I first will tell what uh, incest is not. And normal physical affection between parents and children is very important. Hugging, kissing, holding hands, and other normal ways of touching are very important ingredients in every loving family. But incest is very clearly described in the Bible, Leviticus uh, chapter 18, and it is sexual intercourse between two persons who have a kind of family ties that legally prevent them from marrying each other. That's also written in the Dutch law like that. In a broader sense, however, incest is also includes involuntary caressing, molestation, and deviant sexual behavior by step-parents or family friends. And what is so characteristic about incest is that the people who are supposed to love and love you most and take care of you and uh, create a safe environment for you, that are the ones who abuse your trust. That is the character of incest. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, it is a relationship between people who are not supposed to be in relationship. Like a father molesting a daughter. Yeah. Also, mother. Stepdaughters. Stepdaughters. But cousins as well. Cousins. Yes. Brothers. And also even nephews. Nephews. And also cousins. brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Yeah. Aunties, step brothers, step sisters, friends who live in the home, like we see a lot here. Uh, people who cannot pay the rent, they invite family friends and live in their homes. Yeah. So it's a kind of friends living in the home. And uh, that is also, in a broader sense, called incest, because it's a person you trust. We mm -hmm. must not forget that um, 85, what may more, 90% of the sexual uh, abuses is done by people that the children know. Yeah. Wow. Well, our second, um, our second guests have just entered. So, yeah, we are glad that uh, Nana Pine Media is here with us. And, um, lady, please. We would like you to say hello to Voice of Niger and still continue on. We continue our discussion. Thank you, Mr. Salabe. Good morning. I am Nana Jensi Edisei here. As I said, I'm from Time Media, and I'm glad I'm part of the panelists today. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So she has just told us what uh, uh, our incest is. Uh, do you want to add something to this? No, I, I would like her to continue. Let me uh, gather mm -hmm. my facts and then I'll come in. Okay. <laughs> so, um, now, would you then tell us what incestuous relationship is all about? Because you just described incest. Yeah. You mean uh, what the effects are on the victim? No, not the effects. Okay. What do you know can prompt people into this devilish act? Well, uh, first of all, I think it's uh, pure selfishness. 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 Um, if you have, uh, it's, it's mainly in a um, misuse of power. Misuse. It's in a reference that your children, that you own your children and you want to benefit from them. Instead of taking care of them and giving them everything that they need, yes. you use them for your own needs. Wow. So in fact, and it's always in a kind of environment that uh, a misuse of power. Of power. But I must emphasize that it happens in every 
uh, kind of family, rich and poor, um, Christian or not Christian, every religion's family it happens, um, it, it, and asocial, social, uh, pastors, families, everywhere it happens, we have to emphasize that. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's not just something uh, that has like a ethnic uh, uh, connotation, no, it, it, no, it, it cross across that uh, barrier. It happens in all uh, ethnic uh, tribes or whatever. Yes, or exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really. And uh, from your from, from from your profession as a counselor, mm -hmm. you are saying that uh, the motive behind this whole thing is selfishness. Maybe. How can how can a father become selfish? Oh my God. Well, people are all most of the time are selfish. But you think if you get children that you can sacrifice your own life for them. But some parents are not like that. They use their kids. And uh, oh, please permit me to ask this question: What? Wh wh why do the uh, uh, children keep quiet for a long time? Yeah, that is. Uh, they don't tell anybody. Yeah. And uh, is it not? Is it not that they are also enjoying it? Uh, uh, first, to, to to mention why they keep so long secret. Um, most of the time, um, if, if they are very small and they grow with it, they don't know any better. Because you think if you grow into a family, what papi and mommy do with you is normal. And so if they start very young... At they, what age? Oh, from, no. ba from baby on sometimes. Most of the time it's, it starts between 8 and 14 years old. But 25% of the uh, incest cases is from 0 to uh, 8. So with a very young age it can already uh, start. So if they grow up with it, they don't know any better. But secondly... Um, they are very loyal to their parents. I mean, children do love their parents. Exactly. Unconditionally. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, especially if the father will tell, oh, if you tell mommy, she will leave the house. Or if you tell mommy, uh, you have to go to a children's home. Or sometimes they beat them or threaten them. But it's not necessary to threaten or beat them because normally children are very loyal. Yeah. And apart from that, they often feel very ashamed and guilty when they find out it's not normal. No, but when a child is uh, uh, within the age of zero to eight years, how would a child begin to feel guilty already? Because he doesn't know what is guilt. Um, well, um, some, of, some of them feel it's, it's, it's not normal, but if parents assure them that it is normal, they will believe their parents. And um, yeah, it's mainly also if they grow up, it's the shame and the guilt that prevents them from from talking. Mm. So this. Uh, but I must I must emphasize that they are never guilty. So even yeah. if they had some sensations some some sensations of uh, uh, that was it's 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 people who they love. It is mixed feelings sometimes. So even if they had some mixed feelings, yes. they are never guilty. Because you can compare it with if I leave 50 euro on the table at home, yes. and somebody comes in my home yeah. and steal that 50 euro, yeah. he doesn't need to steal it, although yes. it's there. Yes, exactly. You see? Mm -hmm. So he can keep that money for me and give it back to me when I come home, exactly. instead of stealing it. And that's the same with incest. Even if they're, like, young children are very curious, maybe you bath them and they will touch your genitals, like many times I hear father say, yeah, but the child wanted it because he, the child touched my penis when I take a shower with him. Then I tell the father, look, you are the one who sh should set borders, not take advantage of this thing. You are the one who to set borders, even if your child touch your to penis yes. or your... Yes. We must not forget that also mothers uh, do it with uh, their yes. sons, eh? but mainly it's men with uh, daughters. And, uh, Wow, wow, wow. What do you have to... My God, thank you, thank you, thank you. What do you have to say, uh, Nana? Uh, with regards to... Uh, with, because it's a broad uh, topic, uh, so where do you want me to go? I mean, you heard the question that we, we asked. So what do you think will, will be some of the... Uh, that What prompts people uh, in involving themselves in this sort of thing? Yes, uh, what prompts people? Mainly uh, from my uh, gathering of information, uh, as uh, our first guest said, uh, people are very selfish. Yes, 
a child will be growing around the age of eight or nine years, ten years. Like in Europe here, because of the food and the things that the children eat, some children are very uh, grow very early. By the age of ten, they are already grown up. So maybe the father or the mother will think instead of just giving this beautiful thing or handsome thing out later, why don't I start it myself now? Wow. So it's a matter of selfishness. I will do it before I give the child out. Uh, we refusing to understand that or uh, realizing, refusing to realize that when a child is being abused at that very young age, the trust is no more there for other people because the person you, uh, 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 who did that very thing to her or him is a mother or a father who she or he really trusts. So the, 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 the trust of this very child will be very, very limited when she grows. When you, the father, is ready to give this child out for marriage or for any uh, settlement, that child will have a, a, a very big problem of trust, trusting other people in the society. And, you know, it goes on and on and on, on. It yeah. doesn't go well for yeah. that very child. I believe that we are going to come at that side, which is uh, part of the consequences of this devilish thing. But we are still trying to, you know, or, 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 or walk around this whole topic so that people will get to know the the uh, the, the, the the impact mm -hmm. and and the devilish nature of this uh, family secret we are trying to expose today. So, uh, uh, Mr. Sane, uh, uh, Mr. Salame, beg your pardon. Mm -hmm. Are there adults who who are into deliberate incestuous relationship that you have met as you know as a counselor, and how uh, and how do they feel in it? Satisfied or dissatisfied? You mean the perpetrators? Yeah. So are there adults and who are you know who deliberately want to be into it? Because we are talking about kids who do not know their rights and then they are, they have been abused. Okay. Yeah. But are there adults like nephews and and, and the nieces who are involved in this thing or yes, cousins I'm or cousins or or or, or stepfather step uh, stepfather and stepdaughter who are adults and they are deliberately into this sort of incestuous uh, 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 relationship. Yeah, I met a lot of them, of course, when yes. I worked in the police. Yes. Yeah, they were the, 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 the ones who, who were, were the, perpetri the perpetrators. Yeah. Um, what, uh, is, uh, what all mark them is they are really masters of manipulation. They can turn the truth around until they believe it themselves. They, they mainly start blaming the victim. And um, uh, I met some, even some Christian uh, perpetrators. Yes. And I used to uh, use Bible texts uh, to them to, to make them confess because it's very difficult to let them confess because most of the time it's one against one. The child has a story, and mm -hmm. many people do not even believe the child and when it finally comes out. They don't even believe the kid. They say, No, 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 no. Uh, your, 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 your father cannot do such a thing. Or the elder in the church cannot do such a thing, so they don't believe the child. And so the child, I was just want to encourage every victim of this, not only incest but also sexual abuse. If yes. you, if they don't believe you, never give up. Go on and find somebody who believes, believes you. you. Go on and find somebody who believes you, so that it can stop. Because the purpose is to stop this devilish crime. It is devilish. Mm -hmm. Oh. But the Bible is very clear uh, uh, in, in, in it, eh? so if you feel you cannot, uh, you do, don't dare to, s to speak, the Bible says in Psalm 32 verse 3, when I kept silent, my bones wasted away. Yeah, so, and, in, and somewhere else the Bible says, um, the truth will make you free. Yes, you will know the so truth and the truth will set you free. So the victim has to, to, to free himself from, from any feeling of shame or guilt and has to speak out. Otherwise it will never stop or he will take another child. I believe it will not only uh, from biblical principles, uh, 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 in, in our norms and values, mm. ethical values, mm. it is also sinful. Of it course. is not allowed. That, that, uh, because I, I know that uh, in, in marriages, uh, marriages are being uh, contracted until uh, after fourth generation, mm -hmm. after fourth generation of cousins, mm -hmm. then you can now marry. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. So not not when you are first generation cousins or or, 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 or second generation cousins. You mm-hmm. until after they fought before yeah. you are permitted by law to marry. Yeah. So so ethical ethical values and norms do not permit this. Yeah. So I see no reason why people have to keep their mouth shut when they have been abused, or how uh, why a mother would keep keep her mouth shut when something uh, like this has happened to uh, the, the, the the child yeah, like like from I the husband. Like I explained before, the children are often afraid that uh, I the father will say, if you tell them, I will go to prison, or they will take me out of the house, or mommy will leave the house, or you will be t- taken out of the house. Now, surprisingly, also a lot of mothers. Um, <coughs> don't speak out. They like m- m- many of them like to ignore the problem. They see the signs of incest or sexual abuse, but for their own selfish reasons, again, they ignore it. Is there or any maybe they or maybe they are also suppressed by the by the, man. by the man because it's a power game. It's a misuse of power. But also, some mothers are even jealous on the child. The relationship that the father has had with the child, they are jealous and they start beating the child or throw the child out of the family. It happens many, many times that the child is thrown out of the family. And while it needs so much support, comfort and safety from the mother. Well, our listeners uh, out there, we encourage you to give us a call on 02737-1619 in case you have a question to ask to the professional who is here. In case you want to, to know what to do, if, if you are in this sort of relationship, please, there's a way out. Give us a call right now on 020-737-1619. Nana, are there some true life stories you can tell to convince our listeners that this things to happen? Yes. Uh, From your own perspective. Um, when you really uh, are involved in the media, you hear a lot of things concerning incest. Because yes. Some people don't get people to believe them in their own family setup. So they try to talk to people outside. That may really show a sign of believing them or a sign of showing interest in the story that they have. Yeah. So they may come around, this is what is happening. Can you people make a program out of it? And if I tell it to my mom or dad, they don't believe me. Mm-hmm. There was a case when an uncle was really abusing a child in the house because the uncle was um, not having a job and he was alone in the house when the child comes from school that is where the uncle was going to use his power his influence as an uncle to abuse that very child yes and you can also see that uh, some of them are really men men to men here in Holland we we, yeah it has been accepted that a man can also sleep with a man. So you see men I'm also yeah, doing the same thing to I maybe... Mean men also. Yeah, and you see some women, I, I, I see that as craziness, trying to be so nice with a boy and later abusing that child. It's, <laughs> it's so un- unheard of, but it really happens. And when you listen to the news, here in Holland we had a man who abused uh, I think it was in Germany rather, yeah. sorry, when a man who abused uh, his own child put him, uh, put her under the house that they were living in a garage for uh, m- more years and the child even conceived and gave babies oh, yes, yes, to yes, yes, yes. that very father of, uh, of her. Yeah. So you see life stories being told around the world. Yeah. But what is happening is that we try to, we refuse to understand it and refuse to accept it that it is really happening. We don't want to accept it because it is shameful and the uh, 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 people who are being through this very thing think it is their guilt yeah. or they, are, they feel guilty because that is what the perpetrator wants them to believe. Yeah. yeah if you don't enjoy it, why do you allow me to do it to you? <laughs> so, were you as a journalist, were you, uh, were you able to write anything about this, uh, this, this, this topic? I haven't because I'm I haven't sure you must have come in contact with yes, a lot. Yes, sure. But I were you bold enough to write? I haven't written anything about it, but I've done a lot of uh, uh, radio programs about it, yeah. just li- like what I'm doing. Yeah. And when this to- topic really comes in, yeah. I really want to be part of it because it, mm-hmm. is, it is like a fight. Yeah. It is like a movement. Yeah. 
people don't want to believe it they do it themselves yeah. it's like walking in sleep they do it like it's a dream it's something and when they finish it's like nothing has happened hmm. 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 so let's accept it let us see that it's a reality it is happening in our families yes and something should be done about it because the done. consequences are more than what you say something it got to be given. done yes yeah, yes, yes. Something, that something has to be you and me yeah i mean so many people see signs yeah. but they will think ah it's a domestic affair i uh-huh. cannot interfere maybe you hear children crying all the time when they go to bed yeah or you hear them be beaten up or whatever there must be people who see these things but maybe you are the first one who does something with it what? So don't don't think ah well somebody else will do it. No, if you have um, you you suspect this, yes, you can uh, talk to the child, be a, a trustworthy person to the child, or you uh, phone the AMK, eh? yeah. Melt Punt Kindermishandling for advice. If you don't know what to do, but do something. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I I think do something is about uh, most of the time it's men. I'm sorry that are in the higher percentage who really involve themselves in this thing. Yes. So I think women in the houses, the families, the mothers, yes. the sisters, when you see something, don't think it is my brother, it is my husband, so I cannot report that person Ooh. to the police. Speak. That's what it is. You, you, yes. Because it's like, yeah, if I report it, then I, it's a shame on my family, the whole, the whole uh, uh, community will see that my husband is like this. Maybe the, the husband is maybe a respectable person in the society, so she doesn't want to destroy the husband, or you don't want to destroy your sister, or you. Don't. But that person is really destroying the family line. It is re- she or he is really destroying what you really think you are protecting. Yes. So let us be strong. Don't let us think of what people will say. Let us just do the right thing. If a child is being abused, it is wrong and it should be prevented. And if it has not been able to prevent it, there should be a stop to it. So that it doesn't generate now. I have a very direct question. This taboo is it? Is it a more of a, is it more a taboo in the white culture or black 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 culture? From your research, Mrs. Alame. Mm, I think in both cultures it's still a, a taboo. Um, but the cases that I have, uh, I'm now 18 years in the African community because my husband is a pastor in yes. the African community. Yeah. Um, the, the, the cases that I came across in these years, it's often um, that the mothers feel very much ashamed and also want to protect the child and say, oh, if I don't talk and do as if it didn't happen, maybe she will overcome it. But the consequences for uh, sexual abuse are not only physical, no. it's also emotional. Yes. And when you destroy the sexual development of a child, maybe she can never enjoy it anymore with her husband. Yes. Um, the self, um, uh, um, there's a high... Um, so there's a low self-esteem, very much, and a, a very ma- high depression. Mm-hmm. Many of these kids cut each other, uh, so cut with with with, with knife, oh. you know, just to to feel something because they cut off their feelings. They sometimes they even dissociate. They forget, and even they they after ten years they remember suddenly again. And everybody say, Ah, you must be lying. You have never told me this. <laughs> but they are dissociating because mm. it. God so good if you experience something that is so terrible, you cut off because you cannot bear it. You see, like if I am hit by a car, it's so painful, I, I knock out. And emotionally, that's the same. Yeah. Something happened yeah, to me yeah. that is so terrible, yeah. I knock out, so I don't even remember. But um, the consequences are very uh, uh, heavy most of the time. And mm-hmm. um, and lost God uh, performs a miracle, you have to suffer from it uh, your whole life. So, 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 what role do you expect mothers to play in confronting the case of incestuous relationship within their doors? Yeah, I expect them to stand up. The eh? uh, Bible says, have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather expose them and speak for the ones who cannot speak. And I think children find it very difficult to speak against their loved ones, the parents. Do you buy to that idea, Nana? Yes, uh, I, 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 I already said that the, 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 the women should uh, stand up and do more. Because when, as uh, uh, Madame said, uh, with the African and the uh, European communities, it is still regarded as a taboo. Anything about sex, people think, wow, let me withdraw. But it is something we do daily. 
It's like we are eating. It is normal. <laughs> so yes. just talk and about like, it. Yeah, exactly. Just talk about it. It is nothing shameful. Yes. Like when you are doing programs on sexuality or HIV AIDS or yeah. you know people okay. try to.